there's really nothing more dangerous, scary, beautiful, sexy than molten iron being poured at 1,700 degrees. It's something out of Dante's Inferno, but I feel right at home. It's peaceful. It's the kind of place art should be made. I'm Rob Nielsen, an associate professor of art at Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. Specifically, I kind of specialize in public art. There's a researcher at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Dr. Davidson, who uh, has a theory that compassion is something that can be learned, it can be practiced, and just the act of thinking about compassion changes one's brain and tends to make us as humans more compassionate. So Dr. Davidson was coming to Appleton to give a talk, and it strikes me, of course, I know exactly what we have to do. We have to make compassionate manhole covers. Manhole covers are these kind of strange things, that they're in our community and they're in all of our communities and they're so ubiquitous that we don't pay attention to them. I wanted to give Appleton this utilitarian piece of public art that people can notice or not notice, that they can recognize as compassionate or not compassionate, but they will see the manhole cover eventually. And if it gives them a moment to pause and think, why does that manhole cover have Nelson Mandela's head on it eight times? That's a successful, compassionate manhole cover public art project as far as I'm concerned. So we went down to the foundry. I gave my elevator pitch of why we needed compassionate manhole covers in Appleton. And Nina Foundry, God love them, actually thought this was a good idea. The Nina Foundry gave us these dense, hard, plastic, foam blanks. My students and I, we carved imagery into the blanks. This was then fitted into a form from which the Nina Foundry made their molds. You know, the assignment I gave my students was, look, depict compassion. And they were up to the task, but it was a struggle to find some way to illustrate this kind of abstract notion. The student's idea of compassion was an elephant and a small mouse getting together and sharing a cube of cheese. I kind of requested that the city of Appleton place the manhole cover I did right across the street from the coffee shop that I go to. This is, you know, the only kind of public sculpture I have that I've done that I get to see every day. This is the piece I get to walk down College Avenue with my kids and say, look at boys, there's my manhole cover. And they even know the deal, that they're supposed to put their feet on it, supposed to help patina it up. 